In this module, we will talk about fermenter design with the multi impeller. As we have seen in our previous module that uh, when we have to design the fermenter with the single impeller that is only depend upon the fermenter height as well as the width of the fermenter. But when there is a situation of very deep fermenters, we have to need a multi impellers fermenters. In such case, we have to follow there are we have to follow the three different model reported first one reported in 1958 by Jackson and the second one that was reported by Iba et al in 1973 and the third one that was reported by Paka et al 1976. Actually in these three models there are the detail of geometric ratios having more impellers with multi blades impellers. You can see in this slide having the different geometrical ratios as concerned the operating volume that was only reported by Paka et al and Aiba et al. Aiba et al reported 1 lakh liter capacity fermenter and Paka et al reported the fermenter with 170 liter fermenter. But in case of working volume height that was only reported by Paka et al that was 150 centimeter and Paka et al only reported the ratio between L over D mean the ratio between the working height volume with respect to the diameter of the fermenter that is only 1.7 very critical uh, dimension. So, as concerned the ratio between P over D as we know that P is the width of the uh, impeller and the D is the diameter of the fermenter that was reported by all three models. So, in case Jackson 1958 that range from 0.34 to 0.5, but in Ayaba et al that is 0.4, but in case of point Paka et al that is 0.33. So, as concerned that how much will be the height and uh, the baffle width the ratio between as uh, with compared to the diameter of the fermenter that is mostly range from 0.08 to 0.1 and 0.095 and 0.098 almost there is a little difference among these three models. But as concern the ratio of impeller height over D that is 0 0.5, 0 0.25 and 0 0.37 respectively in Jackson, in Aiba et al and Paka et al. So, as we have seen that uh, the impeller height that first impeller the height of the first impeller from the bottom of the fermenter. But as we know that uh, when we are talking about with multi impellers then there is a gradually one and then second and then third and then fourth. So, what is the distance between the two impellers? So, that is you can see the ratio between P over V, P over W, P over Y and P over Z and then in the last in the later slide. I will show you that what will be the V, what will be the W, what will be the Y and what will be the Z. But here the most important geometrical ratio that is H over D. H is the total height of the fermenter and D we know that that is the diameter of the fermenter. So, in case of Jackson et al he reported that there should be a ratio between height with the diameter that should be 1 to 1.6, but Abba et al say that that should be 2.2, but in case of Paka et al that have a elevated that goes up to 2.95. So, here in all these three models we say that Paka et al reported all kind of the geometrical ratios that is very comprehensive report. So, by using these different geometrical ratio for multi impellers we can design our fermenter with any capacity. So, we can design the fermenter with 2 lakh liter capacity, we can design either 
uh, 100 liter capacity with multi impellers so if we take an example if we want to have an uh, fermenter with the 500 liter capacity and we want to follow the paka at all so first of all decide that what should be our diameter so if we decide that our diameter should be a specific this uh, having the width so by using the last dimension so just by putting the value of the d so h over d is equal to 2.95 by the same if we put the value of d we can calculate the actual height of the fermenter so if first we calculate the total height of the fermenter and the d then we calculate the volume as we have seen our previous module by using uh, the geometrical ratio and formulas which we can use for the calculation of the volume in that shape so you can see in this diagram as i have mentioned that i will told you in a later slide that what will be the v what will be the w what will be the y and z so z basically is you can see that the height of the first impeller from the bottom and the y is the height of the impeller from the first to the second and then w is from the second to the third and v is the height and we can say the depth of the last impeller from the surface of the working volume two impellers adjustment is very critical has concern that uh, the last one and the first one but all other ferment uh, impellers in a fermenter have almost the same height you have seen in the previous uh, slide that almost all other uh, ratio between uh, p over w p over y that almost have the same but the below impeller and the top impeller is very critical just an example if we put our impeller just in a wrong geometrical ratio that will be the top of the surface that will create some such kind of the turbulence that can be sprinkle the fermentation media to the wall of the fermenter mean we can say that the head space exists on the fermenter that can be affected so by the same way if we cannot fix properly the z mean the height of the impeller from the bottom then we know that below the la the last mean the depth of the impeller then we can say then there should be the sparger so it is very critical while keeping the height of different impellers with respect to the diameter and the height of the fermenter